Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to update your Minecraft server. Now in this video specifically we're going to be going from 1.15.2 to 1.16.3. But with that being said, this is going to work for pretty much every version moving forward. So even if those aren't the most recent versions right now, when you're watching this video, the process is going to stay the same. I have no doubt that updating your server will change. And if it does, we'll make an updated video and we'll link it in the description. First link down below will change to be that updated tutorial. But again, I don't see that honestly changing. It has never changed since Minecraft was created. So yeah. But nevertheless, we do have a message from our sponsor first, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. It is super easy to update your server at Apex Minecraft Hosting. All you have to do is just click on the basically server type and then select the newer version and you're done you have updated your minecraft server we actually have a big so much that we host our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them and they are truly the best minecraft server hosts out there they've got ddos protection as i said easy updating and great lag free hardware they are truly incredible. We have looked around for years at, a, at Minecraft Host. We've been in this industry for years, and Apex comes to the top time and time again as the best server host. So you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your own Minecraft server quickly and easily. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. Now, the first thing you need to do is already have a server set up, right? You should already have a Minecraft server to update your Minecraft server. If you don't, then just go create one on the newest version, and you're good. You're up to date. And if you don't have a server, you can check out the link in the description down below to see our recent tutorial and the most up-to-date tutorial on Minecraft, on making a Minecraft server. As you can see, version 1.16 currently is what that is for. So here's the tutorial, here's the written tutorial, all of that stuff. So go check that out in the description down below. Now, if we minimize our browser, I have a server set up, right? But it's not for the most recent version. It's for 1.15.2. I'm going to go ahead and really quickly prove that this is for 1.15.2 by trying to join it off of 1.16.3. So if we do latest release 1.16.3 here, it's not going to let us join this server. The reason for that is because, well, the server is 1.15.2. It'll, it'll say it's out of date. So let's go ahead and get Minecraft open. I'm also going to go ahead and run the server here with the run.bat file here. I'm just going to run the server and I will meet you after a quick jump cut to show you it's not working. So here we are. As you can see, our server is set up here. We've also got Minecraft open. I'll minimize this in the background. We've got multiplayer. Hey, look at that. The best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play breakdowncraft.com. Come check it out. But nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click direct connection or whatever. Just connect to your server. And as you can see here on the most recent version, it says outdated server. I'm still on 1.15.2. And yeah, that, that's pretty much that, right? It, it, it's outdated. It's not going to let us join no matter what. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this. And then we're going to stop our server over here, right? Like so. STOP, stop the server. And now how do we update this? Well, first we need to download the correct server version jar. So to do that, you want to go to the description down below and there's a link to the MC versions. Basically download the updated server jar, I think is what it's called in the description. But basically in the description down below, you'll have the breakdown.xyz slash MC versions and it will take you here. Now, once you're here on the left hand side, you'll be able to see the stable releases. These are all the most recent, most stable Minecraft versions. Versions. And as you can see, release 1.16.3 is the most recent, so we're going to go ahead and click the green download button there. Then it's going to take us off to here, where you want to go ahead and click on the download server.jar, and in the bottom light, a server.jar is, sure enough, going to download. We do want to keep this file here, or in the Mozilla center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, you want to save the file. It's 100% safe to save. This is all downloaded from Mojang's website. Now, once we're here on our desktop, we do have this server.jar file. Now, before you do anything, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and right click on the server that you have here, your server folder. You're going to right click on it. You're going to copy and then you're going to go over here next to it, right click, and then you're going to do paste. It's then going to paste this in and it's going to be called 1.15.2 Minecraft server dash copy. Now you can leave it called that or you can rename it to something like backup Minecraft 1.15.2 server dash and then whatever the date is, which I think today is like 10, 23, 2020 that I'm recording this. So you can have that. That's a backup of your server. So let's say the update goes wrong. Let's say something messes up. Let's say for whatever reason, the world doesn't convert correctly, which can happen. It's not likely to happen between stable versions, but it can happen. And if it does, this is how you'll fix it, right? This is how you'll get your server back. You can just delete this and go back to right where you were in 1.15.2 with this backup right here. So make sure you keep this safe until you're confident that the server is updated. Then you can remove the backup, but truthfully, you might just wanna keep it just as a safe measure moving forward. But now that we've got our backup, let's go ahead and open up our Minecraft server folder. And then now all we want to do is replace the server.jar that's in here with our new server.jar. So there's a server.jar here. Let's right click on it, delete that server.jar. 
and then, yes, we want to permanently delete that server.jar, and then drag the server.jar that you downloaded into this folder. Now, because the names are the same, we can go ahead and double-click on the run.bat file, and it will work. However, if the names weren't the same, you'll need to edit your run.bat file and change where it says server.jar here to whatever the name of your new jar file is. For example, I don't know, 1.16.4.jar or whatever, right? Now, we can go ahead, close out of that, double-click on the run.bat file, and now it's going to start the server on up, and we'll actually be able to see it over here. It is going to be, in fact, a 1.16 server as it's starting up. So it should say, let's see, I forget exactly where it says. Right there it is. So Minecraft, so starting Minecraft server version 1.16.3. Now it's going to take a little bit longer than you might be used to when you're starting your server up for the first time in the new version. That's because, as you can see, it's preparing world level and preparing start region. So what it's doing there is actually converting your world to the most recent version or the version that you just installed, right? Now this works for other servers as well. Say you're in 1.12.2 and you want to update to 1.6 or 1.13. You can do that. It's the exact same process. Now though, from 1.16 16.3. If we try to join on into this server, it's going to let us right on in. You'll see us join in on the left-hand side, and you'll see us join in right here in the center of your screen as well. Boom, Nix Games has joined the game over here on the left-hand side, and we are good to go. Just like that, we are in game, we are rocking, we are rolling. It is looking great. The server has been updated. It's that simple and that easy, right? There you go. That's how you can update your Minecraft server. All you need to do is replace that server.jar file. That's it. That's really all you've got to do. But it is important that you make a backup, and I wanted to make sure you all could get the recent version or whatever version you wanted via the 1.16 or via the MC versions website there that we linked in the description. But nevertheless, there you have it. Now again, updating on a server host is going to be a bit different. On Apex, it's as simple as selecting the version that you want. It's that simple and that easy to update your server. Additionally, if you are on a server host, you might want to reach out to their support just to confirm and get help that way. However, like I said on Apex, just go in and change the version in the cPanel and you're going to be good to go there. Super easy stuff. But nevertheless, there you have it. That's how you can update your Minecraft server version. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And again, this will work for other versions. So 1.17 to 1.18, this will still work. If you're updating from 1.12.2 to 1.13, it's still going to work. Now, I will say don't skip too many versions. So for example, if you're in 1.12, don't skip directly to 1.16. Maybe update to 1.13, then 1.14, then 1.15, then 1.16, because every time you update, your world has to be converted, and it's better to do it like slowly over time than it is to just throw it into a new version and hope Minecraft works it out. But there you have it. That is how you can update your Minecraft server. If you don't have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. It really does help us out, and it means a ton to me, so thank you very, very much in advance for doing that. But anyway, my name is Nick. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the universe, play.breakdowncraft.com. We've got custom survival, skyblock, factions. It's amazing. So come play with us. PlayDirectBreakdownCraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.